Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you're new. This is Breathe and Budget and my name is Taryn. So we talk about all things finance related on this channel. We do use the zero based budget method. We use cash envelopes and we try to incorporate fund savings challenges to meet our financial goals. So if any of that is of interest to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's cash condensing. All right, so I am not sure how today is going to go, but I have some of my placeholders ready just in case. I know there are some categories like in holiday that we have fully funded, so I'll be pulling that cash, putting a fully funded in it, and then depositing that cash into my high yield savings account. So let's see what we have in my emergency binder. We will be adding a significant amount to um, my pet emergency when I do my cash stuffing this week, but there is some here that I would like to get um, taken to the bank. So we have 502 actually, cause some like interest has kicked in. So there's like 502 in the bank already. And I believe we have another like 500 we can take. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then we'll probably be able to deposit another 500 soon. But 500 is my threshold for taking money to the bank, by the way. So um, when I reach 500, or for certain categories where my goal is 300, I'll put a fully funded and take the 300 to the bank. But I try to do it at the same time I'm taking other money to the bank. So I'm not going and making several trips when not needed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 500. I'm going to take this 500 placeholder back. I'm going to replace it with a $1,000 placeholder. And that will represent the thousand that I have that I will have once I deposit this sitting in the account. Okay, um, so that's where we're at. So we have two fifty, two seventy, two ninety, three ten, three thirty, four five six, three forty six. Okay, so we have. 1346 and our goal is 3000. I'm going to be adding a little over 900 this week to this one. I really want to get it uh, near fully funded and definitely done by uh, hopefully the new year. So we'll see or if not in January. Okay, so car emergency. I don't think that I have enough. No, to put like another um, 500 no and I don't have enough to like condense further right now and I know I don't in my home emergency because I had to use that to fix our oven okay uh, let's see in the holiday binder so I had already taken Valentine's Day to the bank that's for 2024, that is fully funded. And when I was doing that, I completely missed the fact that I had Mother's Day fully funded. So Easter gets 300, same thing with Mother's Day, Father's Day, those types of holidays. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add a fully funded placeholder in Easter as well. And let's check Mother's Day, but I'm pretty sure we have the 300. Yes. And I'll just put the smaller bills together right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a fully funded into Mother's Day. So, so cool. So Valentine's Day, Easter, Mother's Day, fully funded. Let's see where we're at for Father's Day. We are fully funded. Okay. So same thing. So then this money is just going to go into the high yield savings account and it's going to, you know, gain some interest in the meantime, which is ideal to and, and one of the reasons why I wanted to start saving for holidays in advance so that that money can sit there 
and grow because what I have in my Ally high yield savings account is I created like the buckets because in one savings account, you can have up to 10 buckets. So what I do is I have one bucket that's labeled vacation, but it's technically my interest bucket. So all my interest goes into that vacation bucket and I use it for vacation. At least that's so far what, you know, what we're doing with it. Um, we're starting for Halloween next year, but I only have 200. Um, Thanksgiving. I'm just going to keep in cash because I'll just use it this week and pay for cash. Uh, fully funded for Christmas this year. Where are we in New Year's? 43. So I thought I had added, I need to look at my my budget for this month because I could have sworn that I put what I wanted to put in this to have it to at least 100. I'm going to have to check on that. Um, Rivers is fully funded now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 500 back to the bank. I'm going to swap out this 500 for, for a fully funded. So we have, we will have a thousand dollars sitting in the bank. Her birthday's end of February. So we should have a good two months of interest on that amount. So that's good. Let's see. Sky's birthday for next year has 300. Ooh, I don't know if I made enough fully funded. We will see. So I'm going to go ahead and put a fully funded for Skies. And then let's see. I think Harmony's is fully funded as well. And I don't think... Mine will be once I cash stuff this week. So that'll be condensed next time. So that's... I'm not too worried. And then his birthday. I know we're fully funded, but I'm going to keep that in cash. Um, actually, I probably need to get that back to the bank because this was for this year, but we had some, we sold some items on Facebook marketplace and that is actually how we funded our uh, new iPhones. So, Hmm. I don't know. I might just roll this over to next year. We, we were good. We didn't actually wind up touching his for his birthday this year. Or maybe I'll use it for something special like him and I, you know, a night away or whatnot. Okay, I'm gonna have to think about that because I forgot that that was sitting in there and we wound up not needing to actually use that um, to get the iPhone. All right, so let me go into my high priority binder really quick because I know there was a couple like the Roth IRA. So 500 is my threshold to deposit typically. For the Roth IRA, I know some people are probably screaming that I have it sitting here and I haven't already deposited it into my Roth IRA and then in turn purchased my stocks. Um, I do ETFs and stuff and you know target date funds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the whole 550 but I'm only going to put a $500 placeholder for right now. I will make note that I have that extra 50. I'll just throw it onto a post-it. But I do want to get that 50 in there and use this to make some purchases. So I'm going to go ahead and take this all back to the bank. Okay. And then I think it's our all state. We have enough to put a placeholder. We're almost done funding this for July of 2024. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So let me take this five back to the bank and I will go ahead and throw a $500 placeholder in here. Okay. And then I think that was it for this Binder. There wasn't much more. Um, I mean, I guess I could put this and take a 50 and a 10 just to kind of condense that a little bit more. That works. Um, 
I could probably do the same here. Probably not many more of that because I don't have any more tens. But let's go ahead and condense that. Um, I don't really, I will do that. I will condense this and I will add 100 to wellness. No, that's 40. I am actually going to take smaller bills for this, for the grocery one, just so that if I need change, um, it's easier to make change that way. So let's just do the 20s. Because this last time we went grocery shopping, I purposely went over the 250 um, because I had some recipes in mind and we were really running low on meat. So I did kind of like a mini bulk um, shopping. So I'm actually going to pull from that in a little bit. So I just wanted to make change for that one. For his work clothes, I can go ahead and give that 100 I think I'm going to wind up needing to get him some thermals to wear underneath because it gets so cold um, at night and he's been having to cover some people at work. He's a manager, but that's the type of manager he is. Like when someone calls out, he'll go in on his day off or he will hop into a truck when technically he doesn't need to be in a truck because he's in management, but he does it anyways. Um, and that's what makes him such a good boss, you know? Um, and that's why his team is so dedicated to him. Because a boss that doesn't mind jumping in and doing the work with their team is a boss that is going to be respected. Okay, so I think that that's about all that I can do. Oh wait, 30, oh man. Okay, so I could do some 20s, that's fine. So I can do 120, 220s. Oh, let me just put the smaller bills here. And then I will take, let's see, two of the nicer 20s if possible. Those two are fine. Okay. So, People have asked, like, why do we condense? Why do we use placeholders? There's a couple, you know, a couple reasons, like really two main reasons for me. Um, there might be other reasons for other people, but for me, one, I want the cash in my high yield savings account. I want to have that interest, right? And two, I said the two with three fingers, but two, I want to have less bills in my envelope to prolong the life of them. So when I make my envelopes, I do double laminate them. So when you feel on the inside of the envelopes that I make, so if you run your finger inside, it is smooth. It's a piece of laminate on both sides. So it's double laminated, five mil and three mil on this side. You have your five mil, three mil, vellum, and starlight on this side, which is what makes them so thick. Um, and in my opinion, Sturdy, I do run them through a laminator a good three times. The reason being is because there are so many layers, I want to make sure that it has a good seal on the side, you know, and that you can open them without there being an issue. Uh, do I recommend doing this with your envelopes? No. Um, I recommend anywhere from 10 to 15 bills per envelope. But if you are saving a significant amount, then please cash condense for larger bills or use placeholders, okay? And deposit your money so that you have some interest, you know, going in there. Okay, so that's just a 50. Okay, so I'm going to take these 50s and I'm going to go ahead and put 100. And I'm going to go through some of these, probably the next cash stuffing, and probably pull some of these ones, like these random ones that I have, um, and probably throw those to my savings. Okay, so let's see. This 10's kind of getting 
bad. So I'll put these two tens over here and I will take a 20. So this week is Black Friday, Thanksgiving and Black Friday, um, and I'm hoping to see if Hulu will come out with their, and I need to check today because it could have already launched for all I know, uh, to see if they have their um, special. 30, 45. I need to save some of these. Oh no, I'm going to wind up needing to go to the bank anyway, so I might as well condense right now. That's fine. So I'll take two 20s. So I'll do this. I'll keep that five. Okay, so 20, 30, 5, 40. And then I already took the two 20s. I hope I don't get confused. I'll catch any mistake at the end. So I'm going to double check my Amazon Prime. But I think that that should be, that work makes sense because every time I fill it, it's 15 bucks and I have 45. So, and I think I've filled it three times. So that does make sense. But I just want to make sure. Um, okay. All right. So yeah, I might as well just do, okay. So this is going to seem weird because I'm going to keep one of these 50s, but I'm going to take 100 for these two 50s, then I'm going to put these here and take back a 50. I just needed to do it that way. Um, I don't know, because any other way just hurt my brain. <laughs> so I just did it like that. I don't have anything in there. Winter is fine. We'll just keep it like that. I don't have anything there. The Riker, we could definitely take another hundred. I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out because I want to keep this hundred. I don't think I'm going to be willing to spend that. Hmm. I don't know. I guess there's something to me that's nostalgic about like the older bills. I'm, I'm strange. I know. So I'll take a 50. Although some of you are probably like, I agree. So I, I'm, I couldn't be that strange, right? Since some of you are probably saying you agree. If you agree that some things like that are just kind of nostalgic, let me know in the comments. Make me feel a little bit better. And then I think that's all that I can do here. So I didn't actually keep track right now while doing the recording as to how much, well, where I did swaps to condense really doesn't matter because the same amount is staying in the envelope. What I pulled and replaced with a placeholder is really the amount that I should make sure that this is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count this amount right now. And then once I'm editing, I'm just going to go back and make sure that this amount works. And I'll just post it on the screen to let you know, like, yeah, I did good. Or yeah, no, I totally butchered that. So we'll see. Uh, so let me start with the hundreds. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so twenty eight hundred in a thousands. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, so 3550 is what I'm gonna be taking back to the bank. And again, that's gonna that money is gonna be working for me. It's gonna gain interest. Um, it's gonna sit there for a certain amount of time, depending on when that holiday is coming up, right? So like 
our Valentine's Day is not going to get as much interest as, let's say, Father's Day, you know, or Mother's Day, right? Because obviously it's going to sit in the, the savings account longer. But every little bit counts. Don't ever get discouraged by that because I don't care if it's $100 a penny. It does all add up and it does count. And really, it's just about building good money habits and having a very intimate and healthy relationship with your finances. So hopefully this cash condensing uh, was informative as to why we do this. And also hopefully it jumpstarts your enthusiasm to open a high yield savings account if you haven't already or depositing your cash. Like I love cash stuffing, but I do love condensing, putting it back into my checking account and using placeholders. So it still does psychologically what it's intended to do. But on the other hand, I know that by depositing this, I'm making money, right? And then we get into something called compound interest. So whatever interest I get on this amount, let's say this month, by next month, my balance will be higher because it includes the interest, right? And then we're going to get new interest. So new interest on that previous balance, meaning we're getting interest on our interest. So that's called compound interest, basically building onto the interest. Um, I, I go over this in another video. Uh, if I can find it, I'm actually going to link that video at the end. So it's a better uh, explanation with a visual. But that is the goal is to increase our income in various forms, whether it's like side gigs, like my Etsy shop, or selling things on Facebook Marketplace or Mercari. Like I just sold my Aura Estelle A5 wide binder because I just could not vibe with it, with it being a wide. I just, I just couldn't vibe with it. And I didn't want it to just sit here and not go to use. So I sold it, made my money back, and I'm happy. And that money will go back to my checking account. So Alternate sources of income is important. So if you haven't started that, like, or ventured out to seeing what can you do, like mystery shopping is something I used to do. I might actually get back into it, but it was a little time consuming for me because if you do like bank mystery shops, you have to travel to different like bank locations. But, and that might not be feasible for me now that I live so far away from town, but it definitely was helpful when we were lower income mystery shops, like it made or break whether we were paying a bill or putting enough food on the table. So just find alternate sources of income and you know save, that is super important. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and I hope that you guys had or will have a, actually I'm gonna post this before Thanksgiving. So I hope your Thanksgiving rocks and that you find everything in the world that you should be grateful for and really focus on that and just let go of all of the negative. So I will see you guys in the next video, bye.